Nice gig. January 3rd. 30 degrees. 30 mile an hour winds. You can't tell it too good here because I'm in a little concave, but I got the doors closed. That's why I was, <laughs> that's why there ain't much wind in here. The guy just came by and picked up the infidel and the scissors. I'm sharpening up a, a couple knives from my buddy Low Tide Tim. A couple knives he bought at a thrift store. One of them's uh, I don't know what this one is, I can't tell. The other one's uh, what do you call them? The ones I did last week here for that whole lady. I did a whole flock of them. Pampered Chef. I got one of those to do for him. And then he got some kind of rare wooden handle antique looking knife. It says it is a uh, I don't know if I can read that either. Stand by for that. Anyway, she's got some loops and bounds in her. And then I got a whole flock of heckles. Not a whole flock, but I got three. Assorted sizes. Chef's, chef's knives. Now you may not remember it, but I did some knives for this lady uh, July, I think. I did a tomato knife for her and a big uh, serrated knife, I think. And she brought me some more knives. Long ticket here, long. Okay, we got action if we don't freeze to death. Stand by. Boy, it's cold too. I got three pair of gloves on, two pair of long johns, three shirts, a hooded sweatshirt. Ooh, no detecting either. Which rough as bricks on the bay. I'll take you down there in a little while. The gold is getting churned up good right now, I hope. Return to the cave. Maybe tomorrow. It's supposed to be eh, 41, I think. That's a little bit chilly, but gold makes you do crazy things. Stand by. I've never been there. We all went down there, and this is when it was there's hardly anybody there anymore. And we rode that to the skyrocket <laughs> until everybody was sick. <laughs> uh, we must have ridden it about 10 or 15 times in a row. A few remain. <laughs> it's funny how places are very. Like I said, this is a pocket knife place. I got another big pocket knife. I ain't never seen a pocket knife like this before. It's big. And the same guy got a bench mate. And you can see she got a bad chip right at the tip of her right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. God damn it, it's so dark under this building. There you go. Look at that baby. I told Mike to fix it, but I had to take it home. He said, okay. I got homework. Look at that. Look at that thing. God. Bitch made. Nice knife though. And this monster. Whoo. Stand by. Well, I'm headed home. I'm the knife gig. Come on. 
I gotta stop and drop off some knives at my uh, little Muslim Muslim butcher shop. He called me and said he wanted a couple of knives. And he, about every two weeks, I give him rental. I have some rental knives. I give him. And I carry them under the seat of my truck in case he wants some ahead of time or something. But I got them. I just gotta drop them off. DC Grocery. And by somebody's calling me. DC Grocery, Pakistani, Indian, and Middle Eastern fresh hollow meats and exotic groceries.